get away from the windows. You don't go outside and look at it. There's the video, the live video that we had that uh, the DOT cam that captured that funnel cloud, that tornado, as it moved offshore or off, off land and out over the St. John's River at that point. Look at that twirly. That is just that. Is that live right now? Yes. Yeah. That it, so we're watching it as it's happening. That it looks to be right now over the waters. That's where the. That's an incredible picture. It's uh, the fact that it's live. The fact that we're watching this via our DOT cam. Let's see. Can we get our tower cam to rotate uh, that far over? We, we can't. All right, they're working on getting our tower cam for us. But right now we're using the uh, DOT cam that continues there. I hope we got a photographer that's out also getting some of this video. That is absolutely amazing. So if you're just joining us right now, yes, there's a tornado warning in effect. This was a tornado. Now it's over the water, so we're getting a water spout effect. It's going to cross over back onto land, and that could continue back again as a tornado. So these can pass over the St. John's. We're not talking about a huge body of water. Look at that thing moving here from the left to the right side of your screen. And it looked for a moment like it was going to snap there in the center, but uh, what it's doing is it's becoming incredibly water-loaded down at the bottom of that funnel cloud. It's That's trying what to you're pull seeing, up. the yeah. spray. Where, where you're seeing, can, can we uh, come back to me and this in the video as we do that? You can go ahead and pop me up when you have a chance. So let's go back uh, to the video. If you can pop me over the video, I want to show what we're talking about here. That cluster of storms, by the way, is, is near the Epping Forest. Thanks, this is going to be perfect. See where the, this is very sharp, nice clean line, then it starts to get fuzzy down here. It's called the collar cloud. And the collar cloud's where it starts to usually pick up dust, debris, whatever it may be in the farms, the fields, or even on roadways. But what we're seeing here with this, being that it's moved out over the water now, we're seeing that uh, moisture plume, basically, that water being sucked up along. And that's why we're getting this whole cloudy, kind of a fuzzier look. And then everything becomes almost like ra razor edge sharp along here. I would say that uh, as the National Weather Service gets out, and I'm sure they'll be doing it here this evening, and now we're starting to see it break loose getting that finite little point here, see where it's getting skinnier and skinnier, so we may be seeing the beginning of a weakening with this. What happens, though, is these get skinnier. It's just like the arms of the uh, ice skater. As they start to bring in their arms, they spin faster and faster. So that sometimes, yeah, that's what it did. It's got, it uh, got a spin up. It started to see that shrinking. Sometimes they'll disconnect. Other times it's a formation of more speed, more internal um, centri centrifugal force and it starts to increase the overall speed. So I'm sure that the uh, National Weather Service is going to get out here on the storm and do some investigation. And we're going to go back to our tower cam. There we are. Now we're seeing it via our tower cam. You're watching this rope cloud, tornadic activity over the water here in high definition. This is absolutely amazing that we're able to capture this live as it's going on. You see the cloud cover, the rough cloud cover, all of these here, if they were a little bit lower, they'd be uh, like a scud type of cloud, but this is all the disheveled part, the calm part of the storm. Now we're starting to see that rope effect. We're starting to see it twirl out, now becoming fuzzy up here. So this may just be the end of it, whereas this is going to snap free. We'll see the break somewhere along this line. And Richard, thankfully, you're not, seeing, you're not seeing any boats out there on the river at all, because thankfully it looks like people took cover. That's, you know, the whole time you, uh, we were showing you from the DOT can, that's what I was thinking, is, you know, we can't see the river. We can't see what's going on here. All right, now it's starting to get closer to land on the west side. Let's go back over to the radar. So we're looking back out. This is going to get us near NAS Jacks. We're starting to see that finite little line. So two things, one of two things is going to happen. Either it's going to get that little gust and start to pick up a lot more debris, or it's going to move over and finally start to snap out. We're seeing some of the clouds that are forming around here. This is from the uh, pull-down effect from that, from the tornado itself. Richard, Still Richard, getting that rope out of it, though. What's that, John? Richard, I if, mean, that, uh, Tom? if that reaches land, is it likely to uh, dissolve? No, uh, that happens. It, it can continue over land, and that's what happened here. This actually started with the reports out near Phillips Highway, UNF, out to San Jose Boulevard near Epping. So it's crossed through so it's, as the tornado so over wanna, water now is a water spout, and it could continue as a tornado. What's that? Excuse me, you really want to warn people who are on the other side of the uh, river there, and, um, and, and can we determine exactly where that is? Uh, well, that's what I'm trying to gauge here, okay. looking at the ground and continue. So let's go back over to our radar. So what we're going to do.